In Crisis 3, it's all about the bow, and for good reason. Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today we're having a look at Crisis 3 Remastered on GeForce Now. This arrived on the platform yesterday as a day and date release on the Epic Games Store and it is absolutely fantastic. I'm actually running this on a 1440p monitor and I would have thought that this was native. The upscaling and DLSS on here is absolutely fantastic. You'll see in some stats in a little while that it's rendered at 1920 by 1080 however my monitor is 1440 and to be honest I barely noticed the difference. The quality of this game is just absolutely superb. Input latency was non-existent using mouse and keyboard and I got completely lost in playing Crisis 3 Remastered on my PC. Using GeForce now it was just an absolute breeze and I forgot how good Crisis 3 was. Crisis 1 Remastered was a great port, but the combat did feel a little bit janky. Crisis 2 massively improved this, but 3 is just so much better. As we look at all the settings then, I've got the overlays up as well. You can see that the system spec is all set to very high, and if I look at the advanced graphics, I've got everything including DLSS and ray tracing set to very high. If you do want ray tracing in Crisis 3 Remastered, you will need that GeForce Now Priority or Founders membership at $9.99 a month. Crisis 3 also enhanced the Crisis 2 upgrade system, which one didn't have, which was a shame, but the upgrade mechanism in Crisis 3 is fantastic and it does turn you into an absolute super soldier if you get the right combination, but you can only have four active at a time, so it's not too overpowered and it's great to just roll those updates as and when you need them. Crisis 3 was all about that customization of not only your nano suit abilities but also of your weapons so you can change your attachments and stuff on the fly. Also just look at these graphics, it's absolutely stunning and running absolutely flawlessly. You can see it's using the 2080 D rig and you can see that my monitor resolution even on the display there was set to 2560 by 1440 and using the Nvidia overlay in the bottom right here we can see that my ping was around 10 to 13 milliseconds. The frame is locked and steady at 60 to 61 frames per second. Connected to the London data center I did have some packet loss but I was playing for over an hour so 109 frames in over an hour's usage is really not that bad. So again using some of these customization abilities, switching ammo types here, I'm going to use the electric arrows to electrocute the guy in the water. The interactivity of the environment and the game here is just superb. If you never play Crisis, Crisis 1 does get you into the mood with the story, but with today's mechanics it does feel a little bit janky. Crisis 2 is a great intermediate step, but Crisis 3 is definitely my favourite in the series. The bow is very overpowered, but it is also extremely fun. Getting the right combination of abilities to take down things like helicopters, people in the water, or just taking down the stealth kills. Having Crisis 3 being able to be played any way you want is just absolutely fantastic. Just those two abilities of power mode and stealth mode really do change up the battlefield about how you want to approach it. So if you do get a bit bored of being stealthy, you can just put in your maximum armour and run in guns blazing. I really don't have a bad word to say about Crisis 3 being added to GeForce now. The quality on my monitor at 1440 just blew me away. I wasn't expecting it to be this clear when it's stretched, so at 1080p it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. And if you're playing this on a mobile device, it's going to be really, really clear as well. GeForce now are definitely pushing the boundaries in the quality here, and the DLSS and ray tracing mode on GeForce Now are just getting better every time. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into any of the Crisis Remastered series and whether you've played Crisis before and are you maximum armor or maximum stealth. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here because it's just great to watch. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.
I'll call you back, Prophet.